Hello everyone, welcome to DCC and IT Agartala. Myself Tejas and I am a second year electrical engineering undergrad. Today I will be discussing the problem Team Olympia. So let's look at the problem statement first. The school of the capital of Birdland has n, ch n children studying in it. All the children in this age on um, this school are gifted. Some of them are good at programming, some are good at maths, others are good in physical education. Hence for each child we know value t of i okay so if t of i is 1 then the ith child is good at programming if t of i is equals to 2 then he is good in maths and if t of i is equals to 3 then he is good at p each child happens to be good <coughs> at exactly one of these three subjects the team scientific decathlon olympiad requires teams of three students the school teachers decided that the teams will be composed of three children that are good at different subjects that is each team must have one mathematician one programmer and one sportsman of course each child can be a member of no more than one team okay what is the maximum number of teams how should the teams be formed okay so basically we have an integer n that is the number of students then will we give then will be having input for n numbers the numbers will either be one or two or three one means the student is good at programming two means is good in maths and 3 means is good in physical education and we need to print the maximum number of teams that the school will be able to present at the Olympia and how should the teams be formed for, for that okay <coughs> so uh, let us suppose n equals to 7 and the n um, all the and the n numbers uh, input numbers that we are getting are 1 and 2 Suppose 3, then suppose 3, 1, 2, and then we have 1. Okay, <coughs> suppose we have this. So, number of 1s, how many 1s do we have? We have 3 1s, that is, 3 students are good at programming. Number of 2s, we have 2 that is two students are good in maths and number of threes uh, we have once again two it means two students are good in physical education so <coughs> sorry now how many uh, what is the maximum number of teams that i can form if i need one student who's good in each of the uh, each of these three things how many teams can i form can i form okay first team I'll take one from these I'll take a 2 and I'll take a 3 now we are left with 2 and 1 and 1 so <coughs> the <coughs> number of teams we can form is equals to 2 here 2 uh, number of team maximum number of teams that we can form will be equals to the <coughs> minimum count of uh, any subject minimum count of students in any subject in this case we had uh, three students good at programming two good in uh, maths and two for physical education if we had one for physical edu education and <coughs> three each for uh, programming and maths then the maximum number of teams would be one okay now let's code this Set the input. <coughs> then what I'll be doing is that I'll be uh, creating three lists because uh, three list one one for programming so that I can store the indexes of the students. <coughs> so let me make PR. This will be maths and <coughs> this will be P. <coughs> now I'll run a loop equals to one. Like sorry. And if uh, we have we're taking the input. 
if this input is one then i'll add him add this i'll add this index in the programming list if it's if it's two then i'll add it in the mathematics list And then uh, if it's three, then I'll add in uh, add add the index in the physical education list. <coughs> now, first we need to print the maximum number of teams. Okay, max teams. So it will be minimum of I'm adding the indexes okay so <coughs> the PR list if I do list dot uh, PR dot size I'll get the number of students that are good in programming M dot size will give me number of students that are good in maths and the minimum of all of them will give me the maximum number of teams then first I'll print the maximum number of teams then we need to print uh, <coughs> how should the teams be formed we need to print so each time what we will be doing is that suppose if you take this example copying this now the list pr then we have list m then we have the list pe so the list uh, uh, okay so let us suppose this is index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the pr that is programming list will have the indexes 1 then 3 and then 6 sorry and then the mathematics list would be having the indexes 5 and 7 and the physical education would be having the indexes 2 and then 4 so the minimum number of teams that we can uh, form is 2 obviously now what I'll be doing is that each time I'll be printing the ith index of each of the lists okay PR dot get i and I think we are good to go now. So what happens in this is maximum number of teams we have two. So this loop will run for zero, then one, and okay, zero and one. It will run only for zero and one. So when i equals to one uh, i equals to zero pr dot get zero will fetch me one m dot get y uh, zero will fetch me five and pe dot get i will fetch me two and when uh, i will be equals to one it uh, this pr dot get i will fetch me three m dot get i will fetch me seven and pe dot get i will fetch me four so these three these two combinations will be printed okay so let me erase this let me check the code ones yeah, I think I think we are good to go Let's see yep why is it called accepted so here is the code <clears throat> to work.